If you're planning on putting up an Etsy store or if you're already a seller, you may have heard of Sale Samurai. It's a wonderful software for those who want to up their game on Etsy. Serial Samurai is a Chrome extension which allows Etsy store owners to figure out their niche, optimize their listings, and do product and competitor analysis. Now, if you want to give Serial Samurai a try it yourself as you follow this tutorial, you may click the link in the description, which will get you a free trial. Make sure to use the code CREATOR20 to get a 20% discount, but we're going to talk more on that later. First of all, let's talk about what is Serial Samurai. Serial Samurai is an extremely helpful tool that helps you do keyword research, competitor analysis, and product research. Now, unlike other softwares that claim over the top sales data about your competitors, Sales Samurai shares data that has been gathered realistically, real numbers from Etsy stores, okay? Now, basically, there are a few important tools to help you get started with your Sales Samurai. Now, if you hop into your Sales Samurai dashboard, you will see your tools on the left hand side of the screen. So obviously, after you've signed up using the link in the description below, you're going to come to this place over here. On the left hand side, you can see a lot of tools, you know. So first of all, there's the tutorials tab, OK, which contains tutorial videos for each tool. So if you don't exactly understand what's going on in this video, you could just go ahead and see Sales Samurai's very own courses or tutorials on their tools. Then next, there's the search tab, okay, which is for searching your keyword phrases, okay, and that's the best in the case of searching keyword phrases because it gives you all the different, you know, product tools and all that. Then there's the shops tab, okay. The shops tab is for the Etsy shops you own that are linked to Sales Samurai, okay, and you can connect them separately and privately if you want to. Now. Once we've talked about the shops tab, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the left hand side and we're going to click on the search button with the magnifying glass icon to run a basic search. Now you're going to make sure to switch it to basic search, obviously, because normally it's on single listing over here and we do not want to search in that. We're going to go on basic search. And once you go on basic search, you're going to find products you already sell or product suggestions you want to try out. Now, after deciding on a keyword phrase to search for, there are three important factors to consider, okay? Now, in our case, I have searched Notion templates, okay? And uh, the three main important factors that you need to consider are long tail, okay? Search volume and competition. Now, long tail keywords are better if you're aiming for your keyword phrase to be specific. OK, now mine is not specific because obviously it does not have a green tick with it. If it has a green tick with it, then it means it's very specific. But mine comes in the 15th number of the specificness. So obviously we're not clearly aiming for keyword phase to be specific. Then comes the higher search volume, which basically means that the product could be highly in demand. So obviously, clearly mine is very high in demand because 24,636 sales with a green tick. So that's good news. And then finally, a high competition means that if you sell a product using that keyword phase, you will have a huge number of competitors. So here in Etsy competition, you can see 11,378. It has a moderate tick, not a green one, but a yellow one, which is moderate. And that obviously means high competition. Now, it's not often that you'll find a product with high search volume and a relatively low competition, but it's best to aim for products with a moderate amount of competitors for yourself, okay? So once we've talked about those analytics and statistics, let's get into sorting out the keyword suggestion. So after searching for a keyword phrase, you will find out that there are suggested keywords right below. If they make sense for you and the niche you're trying to explore, skim through the list. So, you know, here are all the suggested keywords. You can get the Etsy most trending, Google most trending, and there's a whole lot more down here. You know, you can get tags and there's a lot of different analytics that I'm going to get into later. So to make it easier to choose from the list of suggested keywords and to make sure you pick the best ones, sort out the categories. There are different, you know, categories, including Etsy search volume right here. OK, you have Etsy click through rate and you have Google search volume and Google's click per cost. So really great and really amazing stuff. You can also click the arrow right next to the category to sort it 
from the highest to the lowest. So as you can see, it goes from high to low, low to high, whatever you want, you can filter it all out according to your needs. So you can sort Etsy SV, which is basically your Etsy search volume to the highest option. So you can get, you know, keyword phrases with the highest search volume. And obviously that's alternatively going to help you straight away. Also consider if it has a lower competition. Okay. So you can lower down the competition and a whole lot of more things, you know, really fun stuff. You can also try to find keywords that relate to your niche. This is also great if you're running out of ideas and want to branch out to other products that are still related to your niche. Now, you know, let's say your niche is a uh, dog collar that has a higher search volume, but also a high competition. Now, the suggested keyword for that would be boy dog collar. Let's say, you know, it's a boy dog. It could be a girl dog for that. You know, boy dog collar could be a high search volume, but the competition could be very low for that because most people are going to search for dog collar, not boy dog collar. So, you know, you get the point. So, you know, these are the different analytics and statistics that you need to think through when you're working with Sales Samurai. Now, let's also talk about adding Sales Samurai as a Chrome extension for yourself. Now, when it comes to adding Sales Samurai as a Chrome extension, it's really simple. Simply select Chrome extension here in the top right, and that will redirect you to this page on the Chrome web store. So, all you're going to do is you're going to click on add to Chrome. In my case, it's add to Opera, but for you, it's going to be add to Chrome and you're just going to click on it and you're done. Now you can simply search for products on Etsy and see all of their data. Now, once you've added it, you know, I've already added it. So I'm going to go over to Etsy as so, and I'm just going to search up Etsy.com real quick to give you a clear cut example on how things work. So once you get into Etsy's website and sign in with your account, what's going to happen from here is you're going to enter a keyword phrase for a product that fits your niche. So once you do that, you will be directed to a new page where you find related keywords and details about the popularity and level of competition. So let's say in this case, I'm going to search shirt. Okay. Let's search up shirt. Now, once you search up shirt, you know, they give us these different things. Now this blue thing over here is going to tell you the search volume. So shirts have 104,705, you know, that's a lot of searches. But right beside it, it says 500 more. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on it to fully unlock the potential of Sales Samurai's extension. So as I said, you will be redirected to a new page where you'll find related keywords and details about the popularity and level of competition of each keyword. Now, the Chrome extension works exactly like in Sales Samurai's website, but this feature makes it a seamless process, filter the results to find the keyword. So in our case, what we're going to do, you know, if your keyword phrase has very high competition, filter the results to find keyword phrases with a high search volume and little competition. So we're going to fill out the search volume over here with at least, you know, a thousand words, you know, at least a thousand words. Then we're going to go to competition and we're going to keep this at least 1500. OK, now, once we've said these, this technique works well if you're trying out new niches or subcategories within your current one. So for instance, let's say we're searching up notion templates. The subcategory for that could be habit tracker notion templates. So these all are really helpful and uh, really great things to get yourself started and running on sales samurai. Now we're also going to discuss about how to do a competitor analysis on sales samurai. You're going to simply search for a keyword that you want to rank. So let's say I'm going to go ahead over here and we are going to be searching some random keyword. Okay. And let's say any random keyword, uh, shirt, I'm just going to search up shirt. Now you're going to scroll down to see a list of top ranking listings. Okay. So once we get our shirt analysis back, I'm going to, you know, show you right away all the things that you're going to get. You could also do that here if you want to, but obviously this type of searching would be better with the basic search. So as we can see shirt now, as we scroll down, we can see top ranking listings over here, you know, so you can sort out the list with the highest views. So let's say in this case, this is the highest views. So 44,282 views. That's tons of views. Okay. Now the highest views do not necessarily mean that they're making bank, but there's obviously a reason why they're gaining that much traffic. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on details to see more info about this listing. When was it made? What's the monthly views, image quality, KPIs, etc. So you can find all of that here. So quantity views, monthly views, you can see the age, the main price, 
and you can see all the tags used under it. You may also copy some of the keywords they use, you know, keywords with the highest to moderate search volume. And trust me, this is not like something uh, non-ethical or we're not copyright stealing someone. This is totally ethical and totally normal because these keywords are free for anyone to use. And right below the data is a list of tags which was used for the product listing. You may opt to copy keyword phrases with the highest search volumes and click through rate. Now, moving on, you can also monitor your shops using Sales Samurai. So on the left hand side, you can see this shops icon and you can actually connect your Etsy shop. Now over here, you're just going to add your connect Etsy shop by connecting it really simply. This doesn't allow you to monitor your shops, but you can also get started uh, if you have any missing keywords. So not only will you monitor your shops, but you can also get started and alerted if you have any missing keywords uh, related to your niche. And if your listing is an opt is uh, if your listing is an optimized or not, if your listing is getting views, etc., you're going to get all those details for yourself. Now, one of the best things about Sales Samurai is the fact that you can track your competitors and other top ranking shops in Etsy. To track top ranked stores in the niche you want to be in, hover over the competition tracker section over here. And uh, basically, you're going to simply enter the name of the store in the search bar and select ad shop. So in my case, I added the store Great Life Tees up here and I clicked on ad shop and they added the shop over here. Now you can track the data from the store each time you visit the competition tracker tab. You can view the number of you know sales they're getting, the number of listings, likes, and when it was created. You can even see the sales history. You can see if they're a live store right now and a whole lot of more things. And if we click over here on the details tab, you can see a detailed graph of their sales and when they made it. It's basically a demographic of their shop or store. Now, one final thing that you can do using uh, Sales Samurai is the calculator. Now, you can make use of the profit calculator. The profit calculator is one of the most valuable features of Sales Samurai. Just input the numbers and it will tell you an estimated profit minus fees and taxes. So you're gonna type in, you know, the product price, you're gonna type in shipping price, labor cost, if you have a helper with you, material cost, shipping cost, and you're gonna put all of that. And finally, just click calculate and you're gonna see how much you'll be making after a sale. So let's say I'm gonna, you know, add nine. Shipping price would be $4, let's say. I'm not gonna add a discount. Let's add a 76 labor cost, 32 material cost. Uh, Etsy ads, let's say five, five is that, uh, let's add some offsite ads fee. And once we do all that, you're going to click on calculate and look at that. That's the grand total in the end. So, you know, you can just calculate stuff like that. Now that's basically all there is with sales samurai and the benefits of using sales samurai are off the charts. You know, it helps you improve one product of Etsy. Okay. Improve any thing about Etsy. It's basically Etsy's, uh, you could say, integration that helps amplify the stats and analytics that you actually use on Etsy. And you can, you know, see search volumes and easily browse through all of the things that Etsy website provides you with. Okay, you can amplify the search volumes, competition, words, and it helps you reach the top ranking It's Etsy uh, in terms of, you know, star sellers and all that. So, you know, those are the great things about using Sales Samurai as an incredible product researching tool. You know, you get your search concepts, you can, you know, margin your own shops, you can track your own competition and a whole lot of more things. So you can see that this is really fun stuff. Now, if you want to use this incredible software, you can try and you may click the link in the description below. This will get you a free trial. Use the code creator20 to get a 20% discount for yourself. And yeah, that's basically about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed it, drop down a like, subscribe to the channel because that surely helps me out a lot. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. But yeah, that's pretty much about it for this video. Thank you for watching this video till the end and I'll see all of you wonderful people next time. Goodbye.